Hey there, beautiful people. I'm Lucy, and today we're talking about how to make better Instagram stories. This is something that I suck at. Like, I just, I full on suck at Instagram stories. I've just been completely avoiding it. I don't post stories. It's not my thing because I'm so bad at it. So this year I kind of wanted to get better at Instagram stories. I want to spend more time on growing and making content for Instagram because all the data shows that Instagram is still basically one of the top social media platforms. People spend a ton of time there. So whether you want to build your personal brand or you make marketing videos and photos for companies, Instagram is a really, really important place to kind of focus your energy. So I realized that I, I wasn't posting Instagram stories because I didn't really know what people wanted to see. And I see so many just boring Instagram stories that I kind of got scared like, oh my God, is this boring? Like, should I post it? Not just whatever. So it kind of came down to figuring out who actually makes good Instagram stories and why are they good? Like, what is the secret sauce to a great Instagram story? And I kind of think that I might have figured it out. I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram to give me some suggestions for great people who make awesome Instagram stories. You gave me a bunch of great suggestions and I looked into them, I researched them, and I found three things that they all kind of do. Even though they make totally different stories, they have these three elements within them, and I think that's what makes them work. So I'm gonna talk about those three elements today, and I'm gonna use some great Instagrammers to kind of show how they work. So today the Instagrammers I'm gonna talk about are Jesse Driftwood, I think he's the king of stories. I'm gonna talk about Alan Palander, hello Emily, and then for more of the business corporate perspective, I'm gonna talk about BBC Earth, because they are doing some really, really cool things with Instagram stories. So let's get into it. All right, so the first element that great Instagram stories have is that they are entertaining. Now, this is kind of a given, but let me talk about it a bit more. Essentially, they all employ really great storytelling. And to make a great story, it's not just about throwing up random images, things that are unconnected. It's about making a cohesive story. So what great stories have is they have some kind of inciting incident. What is this about? They have a conflict or a tension. What's gonna happen? And they have a conclusion. This is what happened. So for instance, Jesse Jeftwood is really, really good at that. He takes kind of everyday things and he makes them into really interesting stories. So here's one he did uh, about lenses. So it actually starts off and he says, I'm gonna get a new lens today. It's new lens day. So now we're already interested. What's the lens gonna be? He tells you what the lens is and you're like, that's really cool. I wonder if this was a good purchase. And then he says, we're gonna go try it out. And then he shows you example photos with it, using it and his thoughts on it. So that is a cohesive story. Now other people do this really well too, like Hello Emily, even though maybe it's not told in the same way, she goes on trips and stuff like that and she'll share little moments, interesting things from the places. So recently she did one in Iceland and she shared all these kind of cute little moments from Iceland. And even though it wasn't necessarily this is what we're doing step by step, it was these are the special moments that stick out about Iceland and about the experience. Now usually really good stories have some kind of emotional appeal. They inspire you to go do something. They make you laugh, they make you cry. Essentially, they just kind of make you feel something. So think about that next time you are working on your stories. Now the second major element is that these stories are educational. And I know you're like, oh, boring education, but actually, People love learning. People love learning new things. People are curious. They just love finding out things, interesting tidbits or getting better at something. What they don't like is learning something when it's really boring and horribly taught, but they actually love learning things when it's portrayed in an entertaining way. That's why the first point is that your story has to be entertaining, but you can build upon that 
by adding the educational aspect. And I think the person who is like owning educational stories is Alan Palander. So he shares these kind of tips and tricks. And he had one recently um, about how to shoot portraits. And each story is either an example photo or a full on tip on how to take that photo. And this is great because it's bite sized information, it has the entertainment value of the great photos and you get to learn something and kind of feel like, you know, you didn't just waste your time on Instagram. You actually have something to walk away and take with that. Jesse does this as well. There's always some kind of takeaway from his videos. So for instance, with the lens video, you actually learn like, do you like the look of this lens? Would you want to buy it? Are you interested in learning more? That is still educational content. And with Hello Emily, you're learning more about a place. And I think that what Hello Emily does really well that a lot of travel Instagrammers don't do because there's a lot, but why are her stories so good? And I think it's because she actually teaches you something interesting and new about the place. It's not just photos of look at me in front of a beach, look at me like doing this activity. She actually tells something a little bit more interesting. She tells something about the culture. She focuses on little moments that are maybe more interesting. So she's teaching you something about that place. All right, so if your stories have the entertainment value, they have the educational value, you are already leagues above most people making stories and you're probably making really good ones that people like. But the third element that really just elevates these people to the next level, is the engagement value. So what do I mean by that? I mean, what's the thing that kind of makes their stories more interactive, more engaging, more unique? All of these people, they just kind of stand out in a way. And it's not just because of the entertainment and it's not just because of the education. They all have like a third kind of special thing that stands out. So now I wanna talk about the BBC Earth account because their Instagram is so cool and their stories are awesome. They are just super, super engaging because you can actually play games within the stories. Like they've hacked the Instagram sticker features to be games. So for instance, here you can actually pick like how old do turtles live to? and like you get to pick. And then once you guess, they tell you what most people do and they give you the answer. So they do really cool stuff like that where like you are actually interacting in the story. So if you can do things like that, like little quizzes, have asked questions, have people answer them, doing polls and stuff like that, that is super fun for people and it kind of makes them feel like they're not just sitting there consuming content, they're actually kind of a part of it. So BBC's page does an amazing job of that. Now the other thing about all of these accounts is that none of their stories look like any other stories on Instagram. They all have this like unique element that's different and that stands out. So for instance, Jesse has his like really cool transitions that are just like eye candy, like you just want to look at it. And then Hello Emily and Alan Palander, they lay out their stories in really interesting ways. They're definitely not just made within Instagram. They're total custom, their own graphics, their own text, everything so that they totally stand out, right? Like they just, they look so different from everyone else's Instagram stories who are basically just using the native features and the native fonts of the app. So if all of that sounds super overwhelming, but you still want a custom look in terms of layout, graphics, and animation, what you can do is just go ahead and download some templates for that. So this video is sponsored by Storyblocks and they are my favorite place for getting templates, for getting HD and 4K clips, for getting motion backgrounds, like they have it all. You just do a monthly fee and you get to use all of this super cool stuff. And I don't even know half of what's on there. So the other day I was just thinking like, what Instagram stuff do they have? Brought up the search bar, just typed in Instagram stories and like all of these templates came up, which is like perfect. I was so pumped. So they have a bunch of cool ones. All you do, find one you like, download it, and then just drag in your own photos, your own videos, change up the colors, change up the fonts, and you have your own 
custom look for your Instagram story. And what I like about this is that it takes all the guesswork out of making it look visually cool, makes that super easy. So you just have to focus on the storytelling aspect. So click on the link below to check out Storyblocks. You'll get a seven day free trial. And I definitely suggest at least go try it out for the seven days because literally there's so much content there. There's a video clips, there's all these templates. And I think this is an amazing tool for creators. So go check it out, try it out at least. And I think you guys will really love it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you're feeling inspired to go make some Instagram stories. I know I am. Like if you guys have tips on, on uh, how to make some great stories, let me know because I'm committed. I'm gonna try to do this. Anyway, if you guys like the video, give it a like, subscribe. I don't know why you haven't yet. If you're watching this, just click the button. Is it over there? Is it over there or over there? I don't know where it is, but click it. You're the best and I will see you next week. Peace out.